Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, conservatives used to like to paint themselves as being tough on crime. But these days they, they appear to be have gone soft, at least on the crime of rape. Matter of fact, not only are they soft on rape, they're actually pro-rape. Now I know some of you will think I'm exaggerating or trying to be funny. But think about this. The guy who's in charge of the Republican platform for their next convention is Bob McDonald, the governor who wanted to have the state rape women with an object if they wanted an abortion. Governor Vaginal Probe. And the idea that a raped woman cannot get pregnant is not fringe thought as far as conservatives are concerned. That is mainstream conservative thinking. The people who are trying to force Todd Akins out of the Kansas Senate race believe exactly the same thing he does. As far as conservatives are concerned, there are about 30,000 lying bitches a year who falsely claim they were raped. They can turn up at a hospital covered in blood with bullet and stab wounds, but if they get pregnant, well, it wasn't rape. It was just rough sex. And if a guy slips a couple of roofies into a woman's drink, well, that's just foreplay. And if a guy holds a knife to a woman's throat or a gun to her head and threatens to kill her, well, that's just pitch and woo. That's why legislation has been passed by the House that just about every Republican voted for that tried to eliminate the rape exemption in Washington, D.C. That's why Paul Ryan, who is the Republican nominee for vice president, co-sponsored rape-friendly legislation along with Todd Akin. That's why the GOP anti-abortion platform, uh, plank in the Republican platform, has not had a rape exemption since 1976. And George W. Bush appointed several judges to the federal court who subscribe to the raped women cannot get pregnant theory. Of course, he also appointed judges who can't tell the difference between money and speech and between corporations and people. So what do you expect from conservatives? So this idea that uh, a raped woman cannot get pregnant might seem a little strange to most people, but it makes perfect sense to conservatives. It doesn't matter that there's no evidence to support this belief. Conservatives are pretty good at believing in things that they can't prove and disbelieving in things that have been proven over and over again. The problem is not what Todd Aiken believes. The problem is, is that he spilled the beans. Because conservatives do believe what Todd Aiken believes. They're dumb enough to believe that, but they're smart enough to know that if this shit comes out, that most people will think that they're nuts. But you know, after watching the GOP primary, and seeing the people that conservatives thought were viable presidential candidates, people like Rick Perry and Michelle Bachman and Rick Santorum and Newt Gingrich. If the American people haven't figured out that today's conservatives are totally batshit crazy, then they probably never will. Thanks for listening.